Hello, and welcome back to Dollar or Less Food. Last time, we made some amazing spaghetti and meatballs that turned out not so good. Since we did some food, what better to switch up with than um, dessert? Of course, we all love Pop-Tarts, but Pop-Tarts cost more than a dollar. So sometimes we got to switch them up to toast them, pop-ups, cookies and cream flavor. This is by the company Flavor Kissed. You might wonder, how are we going to cook these? As you can see around my kitchen, we have a toaster. But not everyone has a toaster. So how are we going to cook them? Microwave or toaster? We're going to split this up, one and one. So both people know how it is. First, we're going to start with the toaster. Open up your Pop-Tarts. Oh, toast pop-ups. Don't want to get sued. You're just going to drop your thing on in. Put it to the lowest setting. I'm actually going to put it to a 2 instead of a 1 because I just want to. Push it down. While that's waiting, let's get the microwave ready. The microwave instructions say to put it on for 3 seconds. However, in the past, I've learned that's not the best bet. I'm going to actually put it on for 8 seconds. Pop-Tart on a plate. Put it in our lovely microwave. 8 seconds. Tuck. As you can see, the microwave is a much faster process. However, let's feel it out. It doesn't quite feel warm enough. A lot more than those three seconds I recommended. However, this one side does feel cooked more. However, there was some condensation or just other wetness on the plate. So that may have some effect to it. Let's put it in for 10 more seconds. Now let's see how this toaster's doing. It's taking a little longer than I want to, so we're just going to pop the toaster out. At this point, our microwave Pop-Tart is warm. Let's reach out to the toaster. Remember, always be careful. Don't burn yourself. This one does feel very warm all the way through. It's a good sign. Let us move to the food. All right, as you can see, we've got two Pop-Tarts, one toasted, one microwaved. First, let's taste the microwave. To get the best feel of Pop-Tart, let's break it in half. Because let's be honest, the inside and the center is the best part. Take a bite, get a little crunch, get a little inside, and see how it goes. Very good flavor. The cookies and cream is strong in this, so if you want a strong cookies and cream, I'd say it's even better than an Oreo cream, actually. I was going to bite more of the corner. Comparing it to a standard Pop-Tart, it's a bit drier of a bread or crust, however you want to confirm it, but overall still very good. Now let's break down to the toasted. Toast them. Again, break it down the middle, take a bite. This one has a more even flavor throughout, proper taste, proper again. Everything still tastes good, and I'll take a bite of just crust. Now that even tastes better. I would say toasting it, just as good as a regular Pop-Tart, if not better. I'd actually rate it better because the inner cream is better. I wouldn't microwave them though. If you have to, it's fine. You'll get away with it. I'd say microwaving it, I'll give you a 6 out of 10. Toasting it, I'll give you a solid 9 out of 10. This is a product that I would recommend having over the standard Pop-Tart. If you have any other food you want me to try, please leave a comment below. Thank you.